It is Slenderman! Yo guys, it's Woody Run. Welcome to Out of Fuel, a game that I know nothing about because it's been sitting in my downloads folder for who knows how long. <laughs> Along with many others, I have a whole bunch of games sitting in there that I've just been waiting to get around to playing. Looks like a pixelated style game. Yeah, the, the titles here, it's also a quiet menu screen. Not a huge fan of quiet titles menu screens, but that doesn't mean that the game is all that bad. Real quick before we get into it, I'd appreciate it if you guys hit like, comment, and sub if you're not. All that stuff helps the channel grow. I've really been working hard to try to make the channel grow lately, so I'd appreciate it. Let's go. Objective, find seven cans of fuel. I could have guessed, honestly. I could have guessed that we'd be starting beside of a car in the woods. So is Slenderman. This is like legit Slenderman. Here's a note. Oh wait, so I'm here. Okay. F doesn't do anything. I can't crouch. I can sprint. I have a sprint meter. I can't crouch. I can't jump. Oh, it's heavily pixelated. Wow. Oh man, I can see things in the distance. Okay, so it looks like it's just a straight path with turns. Or, uh, not turns, forks that come out of it. Not forks, uh, just side paths. Forks would be two paths at the same time. So here's our first one. I mean, I guess that's what we do, right? I'm assuming that this is not a uh, Slenderman game. Okay, you can... Oh, I'm like perfectly blocking the objective in the top left. Hang on, let me show it to you real quick. There you go. Actually, I'll stay on this side. I gotta be mindful of what I'm... Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh my god, that was so loud. I can't see. What's happening? What is this? Whoa, what's going on? What, what's happening? It's like the game was lagging or something. That was weird. I was teleporting around. That was very odd. Is this a can of fuel? One entire barrel? No, it's a danger one. If I could jump, I bet I could get up there. Okay, the doors are really weird. Wait, did the... Okay, whatever, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of talking about the doors. It is Slenderman! What in the world? Why not keep teleporting? It is Slender! Oh my god, it is so loud. It's so loud. Oh my god. I have to turn it down. I have to. Oh my god. I thought the radio was the thing freaking out before. It was actually Slender trying to get me. God, that was so loud. Wow, I didn't know we were playing a Slender game. <laughs> this has to be a can of fuel. Oh, okay, I just walk over it. So I actually picked up one already and didn't notice. Cool. <laughs> wow, Slender, you really uh, stopped being subtle and started being really loud all of a sudden, didn't you? Uh, I'll have it. I'll have it turned down for you. I can tell it's peaking the uh, sound a lot. So don't worry, I'll have it turned down for you. But just know that this is like ear piercingly loud, even after I turned it down for myself. Oh, okay. The path just ends right here. I don't really see a huge point staying on the trail. Seems like as long as I save my sprint, I can get away from him when he appears. And he makes his appearance well known. Case in point. I can't see. It's a little bit too pixelated. Oh, there he is. Walk right into him. This is where I die. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a freaking fuel can around here somewhere. Get away! Thank you. Did I pick one up? Alright, whatever. I'm, I'm out of this area. This place is cursed, apparently. I think the ambiance ended. 
Do you not expect anyone to play this long? <laughs> Maybe they thought, uh, maybe the developer thought that people would think it's just so loud they'd give up and quit. I can't lie, it's extremely loud. I'm back here. Okay. Blender is really just appearing at. He might get me this time. He got me. Oh, he's doing that animation. He's doing that default animation. He's, but he's like stuck there. He's like... <laughs> oh, Alright, let's try it again. Except this time I'm going to turn it down a lot. Because that's just so loud. It's like obnoxiously loud. If I knew this was a Slender game, honestly, I might have stayed away from it. Can't lie. I'm just not in a big mood for a Slender game right now. But hey, I'll play it. Oh, I didn't see this fork right here. I totally missed this. I assume it gets more aggressive as the night goes on, like the original Slender games. This is a long path. Maybe that's why he was all up on me, because I had 4 out of 7. I never beat the original Slender, although back in the day I did play it a whole lot. I've, I've talked about it before in other Slender videos, but... Um... Uh, I was way into Slender Man back in the day. I, I was just so, like, legit scared of him. Well, I'm trapped. God dang it. Come on. <sighs> all that time wasted. All that time running over here wasted. I do wish that in Slender Games, I do wish a little more events happened. The last Slender game I played, Slender Man 2021, it was not that great, but it did have the right idea. Whenever you go into that middle house, it had random events that had nothing to do with Slender going on. And I think that's a pretty neat direction for Slender to go in. Like, it, it could be a Slender Man game, but don't make it all about him, you know? Like, have random scary events happen. Come on! He really doesn't like me going in that house, does he? Wait, I got a fuel can. I don't know when I picked that up, but I guess I'm heading every year now. I think that's the end of the path right there. It looks like the edge of the world. I can barely see the horizon line. I doubt I'll beat this, but I'm going to try my best. At least play it for a few minutes, you know. I don't want to just turn it on, lose, and be like, well, I'm out. I think they're in the same spots every time. So if I can just memorize all the areas, I'll be good. I got three already. Like I remember there's two near the red cross. Or is that three? No, that's just two. I think this is a game that kind of suffers from the pixelation. Because there's not much going on. And the pixelation more hinders my view than it does, you know, make anything more exciting. Because the, the cool thing about pixelating stuff is that it can kind of make make you leave more things to your imagination. And, uh, I don't know, there's just nothing here. I mean, there's obviously trees. What else, I mean, like, what else is there? He's going to give me as soon as I walk in here, right? No? Surprisingly. That was on the table, by the way. Taking a quick look around. No, 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 no. Why do I need four cans of fuel? Why do I need... Or seven? Why do I need seven? Like, is, is four not enough? You can't honestly tell me that four would not get me to my destination. Or at least away from this forest. I mean, like, come on. I would at least try it. Just put some drops in. Six? I'm just missing one. Is that one? It's not. Dang it. 
I'll actually feel really accomplished if I beat this. No joke. That's a satanic cross area. It's not a place that I want to be. Wait, or is it? Hang on. Wait, did I get turned around? I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> All I know is this is the straight path. Getting on the straight and narrow. Oh, I went the wrong way. Let's go over here. I don't know. Maybe I'll run across a can over in this direction. I do think that this kind of misses the point of Slender, which is to be subtle. The whole thing about Slender that makes him creepy, in my opinion, is the uh, subtlety. Hey, I got seven. Yeah, I knew he was coming. Get back to my car. It's all about feeling like you're getting stalked, you know? And sometimes you turn around and he's kind of there in the background. You can barely see him. And then sometimes you turn around and you get that massive jump scare. But you have to keep checking on him. So you kind of have to make yourself get jump scared. And that was the whole coolness of the first game. And I honestly don't think... Another game has recreated the first game. Or I don't think any other any other Slenderman copy clone game has uh, ever recreated the original idea better than the first game has implemented it. It's just You escaped.png. Oh, okay. I guess that was worth it, right? Well, I beat it. I beat a Slenderman game. I can finally say I've done it. But what I was saying is, I feel like the best Slender game is the original. Even, even uh, Slender the Arrival. Like, in, even the Shadow Maps. Slenderman Shadow Maps. Uh, I don't think any of them are better than the original, just because... The original really encapsulates that subtlety and build-up of the scares, you know? I don't know why I'm so far to the side of my webcam. <laughs> but, uh, here, maybe this will help. That looks a little better, right? It's all about subtlety. You want to feel like you're being stalked, not feel like he's just randomly going to jump scare you and start chasing you and then leave after a second. I just feel like a lot of games miss the point of Slender. And, and uh, like, tangentially... I also feel like a lot of PT clones kind of miss the points of PT. So a lot of clone games not really doing their predecessors any good, in my opinion. But it's a free game. I can't criticize it too much. So I appreciate anyone that puts out a game for free. I still had a good time. Hey, I beat it. I'm actually, I feel accomplished about it. Let me know what you thought about the game. I have a link for it down in the description below if you want to try it out for yourself. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to help my channel grow, please remember to leave a like on the video. It helps a ton and I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. I post indie horror games all the time. So if that's what you're into, that's what you get. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.